Hey, welcome. Um, this is the first monthly readings um, for the year 2019. This is uh, for January 2019. So let's get in the year reading, okay? Um, ladies and gentlemen, um, we are about to see a shift on this planet, which is just going to be um, exceptionally beautiful. The month of January is an emotional month. It's an emotional month because a lot of secrets, a lot of information is going to be coming out that is going to affect um, each and every person on this planet. Um, it doesn't really matter. And the babies that are about to be born on this planet is um, really crystal babies. There's um, no more reincarnation on this planet. Okay, so we need to understand that. Um, so the people who are coming in as starseed kids, starseed baby that is about to come in, and they are going to be helping this planet to evolve to um, the right properly energies, okay? To bring back the positive energies on this planet. So um, the energy is judgment, um, and um, the energy of judgment means that secrets that has been kept um, is going to be coming out. It's about time. For people to know the truth about certain aspects and certain things what goes on on this planet what is affecting us on this planet and who we are um, living on this planet because not all of us is humans and we need to understand that okay so energy of judgment is here I'm using one of the most beautiful decks ever I got it and it is the mystical deck and it says trust your intuition so it's going to be a year of trusting your intuition it's it's a, it's a very powerful year I should let you guys know it's a very powerful year and go and listen to your year reading for each zodiac sign because this is just a general reading for January in the month of January we have five five weeks and you guys are going to be seeing the shift of what energies came up last year and what energies comes up this year and again I'm not a tarot reader I'm a channeler and I'm an energy vibration um, reader okay a lot of people are saying energy vibration and all of this and um, uh, it's all about um, the energy of what is going to be transpiring in this time okay uh, the nine the king of swords okay um, Aries Leo and Sagittarius men there is an effect something is going to be happening to you dramatic in the month of January so Aquarius Leo um, Aquarius Gemini and Libra something dramatic is going to be happening to you you men okay alrighty let's get in the reading okay the first week we have, um, so if you guys have seen the, the um, week reading, it's the energy of temperance. Now this is an unusual deck, a very unusual deck. It's a multi-dimension deck, so um, it's not one of those easiest decks to be read. So temperance is the energy for the work, the first week. This is an earth energy. This is about learning to balance out um, what has transpired and what is about to transpire the energy of the devil comes up in the second week so be aware of this okay be aware of your ego train your ego balance your ego call up an archangel Gabriel supervisor of torn element master of fire fire salamander and fire dragons to balance out your ego to take your ego away and heal it and return it third week energy of the tower if you notice these energy did not come up last year the year 2008 it was just flat energy it's just one number now we are having double number we are working with double polarities in the year 2019 energy of the tower in the third week something is about to leave um this hurt this planet it could be disaster um happening um in different countries on this planet so be aware and ready in the third week fourth week the energy of the star this is bringing you back to consciousness this is awakening you 
this is the week where your spirit guides star system um, star seeds um, um, aircraft could be coming up where you're seeing this because they're going to start to come in and let you be aware of who they are okay connection a lot of star seeds connection <laughs> I just got that so I know my friend um, who is always seeing the starships uh, he's a watcher he's on this planet he's a watcher and he's always seen starships so they're going to be out there in the third week oh fourth week fifth week we have the energy of the moon psychic is going to be high um check out the full moon reading when it's up it's not yet up and um you are going to be seeing your enemies so you're going to be aligning yourself your intuition is going to be extremely high for the people who know how to work with their intuition. It's going to be extremely high. Be aware of this because you're about to make a shift. Um, a lot of people are going to be asked to traveling. It's going to be a week of Oster traveling where you during your sleep time is going to other planets and um, connecting with other spiritual beings. You need to ask for the protection of Archangel Michael and your spirit guides. To protect you as you astro travel so people of five fifth dimension remember we need to do and protect ourselves as we go astro traveling um, through the night this is a good week to heal things so what you can do is call upon or write the name of Mother Mary uh, Mary Magnali Lord of Karma and the Lord of Harmony and Balance to come in and balance you out in this week or you can write their names put them under your pillow and ask so that you can go within the dream time to ask for forgiveness and heal um, situation and people that you're dealing with that is of a lower energy vibration okay now we're going to take a look to see what is coming up between the first week and the second week we have earth fire fire hair and water okay so let's go again hurt in the first week um, fire in the second week fire in the third week the star comes up in the th in the fourth week and water in the fifth week so we're dealing with a lot of removal okay the center of the month is a shift where something disastrous or something whoa is going to be happening the card fell out the two of ones is in the reverse so a portal um, that should be open is not going to be opening so whatever the situation is some of you um, would have gotten an offer but the offer might not come through okay so that's a message for someone out there so let's go and see what's happening and the first week going in the second week we have the energy of transition so of course it's new year so the energy of transition that is coming in it's going to be emotional for some people um, coming out of the first week in the second week so there is going to be some transition that is going on so we come in with balance then we need to be transiting and ending so the energy of the devil in the second week uh, there is going to be an ending to that situation let's move forward and look at the third week going in the fourth week we have the princess of cups whatever the energy of the princess of cups is there is going to be a situation that people that are um, Pisces cancer or scorpion um, the feminine energy there is going to be a transition in your consciousness okay um, because you guys are very mystical so whether you're Pisces cancer or scorpion um, an effect of something leaving your life or your emotions or your ego is going to be affecting you and um, that is going to be leaving you in the second week going in the third week third week going in the fourth week we have the energy of the five of swords there are going to be conflicts and this is what I said that the central of the tower and the star 
that means something of disaster is going to be happening and the conflicts is going to be coming up which is going to be balancing out in the fourth week with the energy of the star in the fourth week going in the fifth week the four of swords there is going to come rest peace to whatever the situation that has happened in the third week and this is going to be good because a balance is coming in okay so wow is this what we're starting to hear so the feminine energies um, um, we have the energy of uh, um, of debt and with the energy of that the people who are going to be affected because this is very positive um, because it shows up on the people who will be affected now there are more people who are um, uh, Pisces cancer and scorpion on this planet and the fire people Aquarius Leo and Gemini and Gemini they are the most populated on this planet so what is going to be transpiring is that the Virgos which is the energy of temperance are going to be removing the energy of uh, um, the Leos the ego um, so that is something that you guys need to realize so in the first week the first week is going to affect the earth sign people the Taurus Virgo ring and Capricorns okay they are going to be releasing the energy of uh, the cancers okay so the Taurus Virgo sorry, the Taurus Virgo and, Ca and Capricorn in the first week is going to be um, releasing the ego energy of uh, the cancers but also of uh, the Sagittarians because the Sagittarians are coming in the second week to bring down something okay the Sagittarians are going to come in the second week to bring down something now some Sagittarians um, who are connected with the Pisces cancer or scorpion um, or have children or you could be um, um, giving birth to water sign kids okay and what is going to be transpiring is that the energy of the tower comes up in the middle from the month now the energy of the tower is a fire energy the tower is the energy of the Sagittarians okay so the Leo's and the Sagittarians the Leo's are in the first week the Sagittarians are in the third the, the Leo's are in the, the second week Sagittarians are in the third week okay as we move forward um, we are dealing with the Aquarians in the fourth week okay the energy of the star is the Aquarians in the third week week okay so the four weeks um, the energy of the moon comes up uh, which we're dealing with the scorpions the energy of the moon so the scorpions there is going to be a, an effect with the scorpions in the four weeks so again first week is the earth sign um, the Taurus Virgo and Capricorn second week is the Leo and the Aries um, third week is the Sagittarians fourth week is the Aquarians and what we're having here in the fifth week we are dealing with the energy of uh, um, the scorpions okay now for you scorpions the fourth week is going to be a week of resting for you scorpions um, um, the third week going in the fourth week we have conflict so um, the um, Sagittarians and the Aquarians are going to be having some conflicts as we look the energy of death brings the energy of the cancers so cancers between the ages of 0 and 45 is going to be having some conflicts um, so be aware of that okay be aware of that let's move on and let's see what's death and the princess of cups is bringing up um, the a new start so um, the transition of the princess of cups and the debt is a new start because you have 
um, you're removing your ego or you are leaving a relationship that has to do with the Leo or um, discontinuing an energy that has to do with um, the ego okay or ego based people so the, um, the, the there is going to be an ending coming for the cancers okay there is going to be an ending coming for the cancers um, and this is going to bring a new start okay there's going to be an energy that is coming in from the cancers and it's going to be bringing a new start okay let's see what um, the cancers and the water sign is going to be affected we have um, three of swords whatever the energy is three of swords is coming up for um, the cancers or it could affect the Pisces cancers or scorpion okay and it has to do with the female energies um, and it can be men who carries a lot of female energies um, there is a situation because the tower is coming down to remove something out of your life okay so um, that is going to be affecting because the three of arts there is um, a conflict the three of hearts there's going to be uh, the tower bringing down something so there is going to be a loss as we look at the um, as we look at um, the fourth week the fourth week we have the energy of the three of ones now the three of ones is um, a lot of people are starting a new journey um, after a loss and um, the three of wands is here so you have the three of swords and the three of wands you have the three of swords and the three of wands so um, there is definitely a significant um, situation that is going to be transpiring um, in um, this um, year there is definitely significant um, things in the month of January that is going to be happening let's see what else is happening with this new start and this heartbreak the new start and the heartbreak have to do with the Queen of Wands okay so the Queen of Wands it can affect the Aries the Leo and the Sagittarius it's going to definitely affect the Aries the Leo and the Sagittarians because of whatever the situation is um, some of you Aries Leo and Sagittarians um, have tried to have a new start but this is not going to be working for you guys okay maybe it's not time whoever is um, um, a air whoever is a um, whoever is an airy an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian um, you're going to be affected by if your daughter or son is a Pisces cancer or scorpion there is going to be some effect okay some sadness let's see what else is happening we have the three of swords and the three of wands so we have the knight of cups the energy of the knight of cups so here we go the knight of cups this could be scorpions that the scorpions are going to be affected um definitely the scorpions are going to be affected whatever the situation is the scorpions are going to be affected the scorpion men are going to be affected I am seeing oh yeah that I did say it and now it comes up and shows up so if you are an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian person and you have um, a child um, that is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion um, there is going to be an effect of heartbreaks between both of you okay there is going to be some heartbreaks and he is going to be deciding to turn his back and move away okay so the ladies um you know this is going to be something for you um when your child decide to turn his back on you there is going to be um some painful effect but yet not to let it go listen to your own general reading uh, your own zodiac reading to know what is going to happen now we have strength the outcomes of the month of January is going to be strength and this is a general reading so remember it has to do with um, the Sagittarian strength is a fire sign 
the energy of the Sagittarian because Sagittarian is here bringing down the tower so um, whatever the situation is um, it's going to affect the Sagittarian so um, be aligned with these energy because it's going to really affect the Sagittarians okay uh, it's gonna be a, um, a real because the three of heart it's gonna be heartbreaks heartbreaks for the water sign people so the people between the age of 0 to 45 there is going to be some heartbreaks um, with the water sign people okay I'm seeing a destructiveness with the energy of the ego with the female counterpart of the Pisces cancer and scorpion there is going to be some um, defective energy that is going on and this is what is going to be transpiring I'm seeing the Knight of Cups uh, removing um, there is heartbreaks between the princess there could be civil in a uh, civil rival um, that is going to be transpiring so um, expect this to be happening because civil rival is going to be transpiring now the energy of the magic the magician is here um, so whatever he's coming up with um, we are going to be um, seeing that coming out and playing um, that out that is going to be coming out remember this is just general reading so um, this is the reason why okay we're going to be doing the Lemorian um, to see um, what else is going to be coming up and we have deception okay so we have deception so let's see um, what is going to be happening with this deception some deception okay um, a friend could be very deceptive a friend that works in a government institutes your organization okay I'm seeing some of you having conflicts with friends listen to your own intuition um, there's a lot of talking there's a lot of conflicts with friends there's gonna be some changes talk of changes coming in it's going to affect the men, some of you men. Um, a start for a new man or a start for the, the masculine energies. I'm seeing children coming up. And children, that has to do with um, hospital. I'm seeing a resolution with a contract coming in or a new contract. And I'm seeing the end. Of of a negative situation um, that some of you have been dealing with with a, an um, organization um, this is going to be coming to an end okay so I'm saying and, and this could be also um, the energy of uh, um, the disruption that is basically coming in okay this could be the energy of the disruption that is coming in that something there is going to be government something about government that is coming in something about um, a secret that humanity is about to hear and um, what is so good is that um, there was some deceptiveness that have to do with the men and remember um, the first energy that came out is going to affect the men that is uh, Aquarian Gemini or Libra and I'm seeing if you are a man um, that is an Aquarian Gemini or Libra and you have done something deceptive it's going to be you're going to be blocked okay so if you're a man um, that is an Aquarian Gemini or Libra that has done something deceptive um, you have sold something you haven't been honest um, it's gonna come to an end okay so be aware of that it's going to come to an end because the energy of the um, mountain is here which is blocking you um, which is blocking you because deceptiveness in the month of January 
um, came up and whenever deceptiveness comes up what that is saying is that the energy of this deceptiveness it is a, um, a, a stealing line um, being deceptive being not honest uh, to a situation and it's affecting the masculine energies okay it is affecting the masculine energy um, it can be stress loss anxiety or theft so this month energies is all about stress loss anxiety or a theft okay whatever the theft is is um, the theft is giving up long-term worries stress obstacles and frustration for the masculine energies okay for the men and these men that can be affected it's going to be um, the water sign and the air sign air sign is the Aquarian Gemini or Libra water sign is the Pisces cancer or scorpion okay so I'm seeing that some of you are going to be connected um, with people um, in um, government institutes the organization if there was um, a negative thing um, it's going to be ended I'm seeing um, this year is, is, is if a lot of conflicts that has uh, been removed okay so a man is being blocked and this person and it's only going to be affecting um, men who have done something dishonest okay indifferent man man has a block okay so there is a man that has a block okay because of something that he does or maybe someone is putting blockage in this man in the space now I'm seeing conflicts coming in it can be inner conflicts because the energy of the moon is here um, some of you could be having conflicts with the Pisces with the, the, the scorpions and a lot of conversation um, I'm seeing um, friends trend and trends as, as if your life is going to be changing okay and of course it's a new year so um, your life is going to be changing I remember only if you were born in the month of January that's the only people that can do their New Year's revolution uh, resolution in the month of January only if you were born in the month of January if you were born after the 31st of January you can't do um, you really can't do a New Year's resolution okay okay um, um changes movement relocation and transportation is coming in changes movement relocation and transportation is coming in as we look at the second half of the the month what we're seeing in the fourth week going in the the fourth week going in the fifth week we're seeing a new start okay we are seeing um a new start with um uh Ooh, we're seeing a new start with a child college university adoption agent uh, um, so there could be custody battles for some of you in the fourth week in the fourth week there could be custody battles with uh, some of you um, I'm seeing some of you trying to get back to go to college and that sort of a thing I'm seeing uh, some people are going to try to adopt in the fourth week which is good now as we look at the fifth week we're seeing um, uh, um, a, a, a contract um, coming in okay there is um there is finally something that is going to be happening so if some of you are looking at work the fifth week messages is going to be coming in um, which is um, very good okay so you have um, some successful relationships and contracts will be signed in um, the four the fifth week okay contracts will be signed in the fifth week what is also here is that um, something that that is destined to happen is going to be happening and this is going to be good so ladies and gentlemen what a what a month what a month it's going to be um really a positive month um 
so um, I'm wishing you guys a lot of positive positive alignments and happiness and joy in this month please enjoy the first month of 2019 even though a lot of stuff is going to be happening um, we have to understand this I want to say thank you so much for being here please 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 share 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 these videos because it's very very important namaste